While the perception is that defense in basketball is easier to teach than offense, I think Bobby Knight was right on when he said, defense is just offense without the ball. And it's the coordination of players moving together in concert that leads to better defensive ratings and more wins. In today's era, there is no more important defensive act than to stop the three-point shot. There is a direct correlation between opponent three-point percentage given up and overall defensive rating. And analyzing the last few years, you can see that there's a very strong connection between stopping the three-point shot and overall defensive effectiveness. Let's take a peek into the footage to see what these teams are doing consistently to stop teams from making three-pointers. The Lakers show us the first and arguably most important concept in team defense. Bend but don't break. Keeping teams out of the paint is the overriding goal, and you can see how they don't get out of position, give enough cushion so they don't get beat off the dribble, and then leave their feet to contest the shot in the air. Another example where they're disciplined to stay with their men and not double team the post. I like how they defend this cross screen with a quick switch. Notice the other two weak side defenders are in good position, and then keep the ball on the perimeter until the shot clock becomes a sixth defender. The Thunder have been excellent with their contain and rotation defense as well. Adams positions himself to force baseline, they get good help from the lowest player and sink from the farthest. And now you'll see how they switch everything along the perimeter to keep the ball outside the three-point line. They never stop hustling as the offense desperately tries to get penetration and Adams successfully runs Aldridge off the line for a tough and hurried pull up from the dreaded mid-range. The Celtics are great at handling off-ball screens, with guys like Marcus Smart able to slalom around and recover quickly. Tatum prevents the slice cut by being connected to his man in the lane, and the best teams can switch the handoff action. Again, all that work off-ball leads to the shot clock becoming a sixth defender. Handling the pick and roll properly is another crucial part of stopping three-pointers, and the Celtics are great at it. Watch how they switch this initially, but then expertly switch right back and not give up anything. On the weak side, where this pin down could have caused problems and an open three, Kyrie and Tatum switch this and blow up the whole action. Watch how determined the defense is to prevent middle, and Horford has been a revelation this year, switching out on the smaller and quicker players and forcing them into tough shots. The Heat allow the fewest three-point attempts, and notice how they charge hard around the screen dropping the big man way back to invite the mid-range shot. By dropping that big man down, they invite the pop from mid-range too, and undisciplined teams are happy to take them up on their long two offer. The top teams switch almost every single high pick and roll, and the Lakers can contain any penetration here. Another big factor is the weak side tag, where you must be able to tag the roll man and recover quickly to your man to contest. Here's another example of a tag and contest that runs the shooter off the line and reduces the number of three-point attempts, as the Blazers give up the second fewest three-point attempts for 48 minutes. The Celtics show us how disciplined they are when the ball gets entered the low post. Watch how Tatum doesn't turn his head to follow the ball, aware of the split screen happening. He gets around it well and runs his man off the line, then cuts him off and harasses him into a bad miss. They've also coached their big men to contain very well. Notice how he's giving a cushion to the ball handler and doesn't let his man get below him. Next, a textbook closeout to Dirk runs him off the line, and he's got enough speed to cut him off before he gets into the lane, contest the shot, and force the air ball. The Thunder rotate very well if and when they allow penetration off the dribble. Here, the lowest man rotates over, the farthest guy rotates down. Adams is a very active defender and sprints to take away the three-point shot. While this is not Russ's help one pass away, watch how Adams covers for him on the kickout. Then he perfectly cuts off Aldridge's drive and forces him into a tough fadeaway. Again, no middle is the number one rule, and here they ice the sideline screen and roll, forcing the ball handler to the baseline. Notice how the other three players form an L-shaped zone, then sprint out to the shooters and get in the air for the contest. The Warriors get great communication from their defense, as well as have one of the most versatile lineups to switch everything. Watch the seamless switch of KD on Embiid, and even though I don't like the double from one pass away down low, 
check how orchestrated the closeouts are from both Clay and Curry. And Curry does his job to leave his feet and contest. And the extra effort here to contest on the pull-up is great stuff that forces the miss. Of course, length plays a big factor as well. So even if you're not in perfect position, teams like Philly, Golden State, and the Thunder can make up for breakdowns and penetrations in the middle with supreme athletic ability and long arms to still get there in time and get a hand up. The Bucks are one of the worst teams defending the three-point shot, and they put on a how-not-to-defend-the-three-pointer show on a nightly basis. They like to double-team the pick-and-roll, which is so Miami Heat circa 2011. Teams are too good at handling that pressure and picking apart the defense. You can see how they consistently have the ball screener's man step up towards the ball, and it instantly gets them scrambling to catch up. They get another two men on the ball, and with supreme ball movement, the Bucks have no hope to stop the Wizards from getting a check the wind on so wide open three ball. Helping one pass away is a pretty big no-no, and while Bledsoe has helped their overall defensive rating, their three-point percentage defense is still terrible, as Bledsoe is out of position for the easy catch and shoot. He also has no conception of the spacing on the weak side, busy ball watching, and ends up closing out to a ghost. This one with Middleton is a doozy, as he rotates even though the big popped out and up to the three-point line. Simple skip pass gets an open look from the corner. More Bledsoe issues, where he gets pinned by the screen, but turns the wrong way to get around it, and it gives up another wide open triple. Bledsoe is already out of position on the weak side. He's too high with his man behind him. He is in no man's land. I like the rotate over and down, but Bledsoe takes himself out of the play when he should have stunted at the ball and found his man in the corner. Splash. This possession was actually all good, as they were engaged and hustling to cover their spots. But when the ball handler is coming down the lane with the left hand dribble, the help comes from the right side of the floor, where Henson is already. Brogdon helps one pass away, can't get to the corner in time, and boom goes the dynamite. So there you have it sports fans, defending the three point shot is clearly an important aspect of overall defense. And while you might think it's just random chance whether teams make or miss, I hope this video illustrates the most important concepts that your defense must have to maximize your effectiveness in both defending the three and taking it away. Sports fans, to see more of our great NBA content and analysis, make sure to hit the subscribe button, but also click the bell and adjust your settings so you can get an alert the second our videos drop, because trust me, you're going to want them hot and fresh. You in?